John, they've, uh, they've got you for 10 goals in the second period in three games. And we saw again today the big spurt from them in the second half. What, what do they do in those spurts to just take control of Yeah, I'm, I guess you'd have to ask them what, what they do in, as far as changing their game. But, and I don't mean, mean to be sarcastic about it. I, I think, I don't know if you can connect it. Today we just, you know, the, the entirety of the game, we just couldn't get the emotional energy. Uh, it was uh, it was low. I give our guys some credit for trying to find it and fight, and um, but we just didn't have that that jump, that zip that we've had, and we've you know we know we have when we're we're fresh. We just didn't look fresh. We didn't feel fresh. Um, you know, I speak a lot. The indicators for us as coaches are you can hear you, there was very little chatter on the bench today, and you you know when your guys aren't talking. Uh, you know they're they're lacking that energy that emotional um so you know an odd game i don't know you, you know things go through your mind time of day and you know it's off a different routine um and obviously a great hockey team you play over there that you know was kind of in a groove from yesterday afternoon um so so all of those factors i think factor in um but we definitely you know we're we're fighting to find some emotional energy today so given that, it could have turned out like the last time they were here. I mean, you at least take, have a takeaway that you summoned some back in the third period? We, you know what, if, if it wasn't for the two penalties late, um, the game could have got tied up and been really interesting. I mean, uh, I just looked and, and we had, I think the chances before the penalties down that stretch, I think their video guys just told me it was 8-2. to two. Uh you know, going into that stretch before the th at the three minute mark, so we definitely had, we definitely were able to swing momentum. Um, a credit to the guys on the power play, the guys that you know to to dig in uh, and fight. And I think the leadership of uh, you know the the Akposo and Gergensen were were outstanding. And that line, Eakin, you know they they as experienced guys, uh, you know they. they they know how to get something out of it, even though they were drained emotionally. They just pushed. I think Gergensen finished a check that, you know, okay, I can't, I may not feel my game, but I can finish this hit and finish it hard. And just, they just kind of got the, the rest of the group going and pushed. And I thought, it, you know, real credit to them. Um, you know, our group of D, we were, we were hesitant, all, the, all of us, uh, which is very uncharacteristic of, you know, the six guys that were in there tonight on D. And, uh, so, so again, we were fighting ourselves more than um, than anything they did. Although, you know, I don't discredit they're they're a great hockey team. They've proven that, but it was a lot more what we didn't do. And I don't think they forced us into anything. We just we just didn't have our game. From your perspective, Don, Kyle and Jeff have obviously been consistent sources of offense for you guys since you've taken over as coach. What's made the difference for those? Uh, Skinner and Akposo we're talking about. Um, you know, I, their their daily routine, their habits, their work ethic, they're they're dialed in. I mean, they're they're very committed to their game, and they they walk in this building every day with a sense of obligation. I mean, you, 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 you I see that as a coach. Um, they they they're professional. I mean, they are professionals, and uh, you know, as a coach, you know. He, I mean, we saw that as a as a coaching staff, and you do whatever you can to help those guys. I mean, whatever you can, because uh, they're again they're going to going to work every day with a great sense of objective. Now, was there just no doubt in your mind that you were going to challenge that play? Yeah, yeah, there was no doubt. There was no doubt. Um, I wanted to get the players' thoughts as they came to the bench, um, but that was an easy one to challenge. It's elite. It, it is elite uh, in the sense of, you know, as players age and, it, it, you know, in, in life, but in, in this we're talking about a National Hockey League player, they have to keep reinventing themselves. They have to keep, believe it or not, just like a young guy has to keep getting better, the older guy in this league, if he doesn't find ways to tweak his game and become better, they're obsolete sooner than later. 
and Kyle comes to the rink every day trying to find ways to add to his game and adjust his game and uh, I mean he's not a hard guy anybody you know you bring him you bring Kyle Ocposo and say you're coming tonight just watch this guy's work ethic you could bring in your neighbor that doesn't know anything about hockey and he's going to see that compete and that work ethic out of Kyle and you know that's the that's the drive. I mean, this is, he's as passionate about the sport of hockey as he was when he was 17 years old, uh, and that drive pushes him through. Don, with two coming up against Carolina uh, after this game and after things have been going really well for this team, uh, Kyle just told us he doesn't need to worry about motivating the younger players on this team at this point are you feeling the same way and seeing the same thing yeah and i notice you're wearing carolina red now you asked that question and you're wearing carolina red Don, so you. that's okay <laughs> um yeah you know i don't i didn't say anything to the guys after the game i i said uh in between the second and third period i i you know i, I in essence my message was I'm, I'm glad and i hope you're glad we have a third period here <laughs> You know that that's the bonus that, that we the game didn't end after that second period, um, and it's sort of the same feeling right now. I, I didn't have to go in that locker room after the game. I didn't feel any need to. I think you know this group has shown me they have a, a level of care. They 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 look in the mirror quicker than I can ask them to. You know, so um, they'll evaluate their game, and that's what we want. We want players that have that. You know. Uh, Leadership, self-leadership, self-awareness, and you know, I, I I do believe these guys will be ready to go. And it's not obviously not going to be an easy task with Carolina. Yep.